Hello, my name is David Redvers and this is Tween Hills Farm and Stud in Hartbury in Gloucestershire where we breed racehorses and we have currently four stallions, about um, the best part of 100 mares uh, and just short of 70 foals. Uh, so this is a, a big public stud we call it because we stand stallions but our job is breeding racehorses of the future. So at Tween Hills we stand a number of champion racehorses uh, we stood a, a wonderful horse called Roaring Lion, who is a world champion. And amongst the stallions we stand here currently are Lightning Spear, who was a champion miler. And we've also got a horse called Havana Gold, who was champion first season sire. It all started really with a horse called Macvie, who was a 2000 Guineas winner and a champion three year old and miler in the world. At Tween Hills, we breed race horses and racehorses are thoroughbreds and every single thoroughbred in the world comes from one of three different stallions that were imported into the UK, into Great Britain in the early 18th century. So over the 300 years the racehorse breed has continued to develop and improve and we are now at a place where we are constantly breaking track records with the thoroughbreds that we're breeding today. It's terribly important that we keep trying to breed the best we possibly can and we keep trying to improve the breed. Tween Hills is right at the forefront of that and we stand several record-breaking horses and we also have plenty of very, very fast Group 1 winning broodmares at the farm as well. At Tween Hills we stand stallions, we have broodmares, and then we have what the broodmares produce. So we produce foals every year, and the foals then grow into yearlings when we sell them or we break them in and put them into training uh, with a view to them running on the race course at two and three years old. And at three years old, they're what's called our classic crop, where we run for races like the 2000 Guineas, uh, the Derby, the Oaks, uh, and then on to the St. Ledger. So we have a, a system in bloodstock where we are breeding horses for specific targets on the race course uh, and every year we're trying to win those races and prove that we've got the very best thoroughbred on the globe and it's a big challenge and it's what makes it very exciting. Hi my name is Peter van Sale. I'm the stud manager at Twin Hill Stud. Um, my responsibility is the day-to-day -day running of the farm and all the horses. Um, I've got to make sure that all the horses are well fed, healthy and in good spirits. Um, during the winter times, the mares and all the horses will be stabled um, due to the weather. Um, mares and foals will be turned out for an hour or two in a little nursery paddock. And as they get older and stronger and the weather turns better, we will turn them out to grass. Um, come early spring, most horses will be out on the grass pastures and uh, they'll live out until either they come in for yearling preparation or until they need to come in um, for foaling again. Um, Yearling preparation is when we bring them in into the stables to start teaching them uh, manners, get a bit in them, we do the teeth, get the farrier to put shoes on them and we start building up their condition so that they're ready for the sales ring. Um, it does take a bit more work and a bit more effort to get the condition on them. We put them on the horse walker, we lunge them and we get them fit and healthy um, and to be in top form for the sales ring to achieve the best possible prices. So a busy stallion and a popular stallion will get up very early in the morning and go for a long walk at about six o'clock in the morning having had a bit of breakfast. He might cover his first mare at seven o'clock in the morning and then we try and space out his coverings five hours apart so he can cover three mares comfortably a day, seven, 12 and five. And if necessary, he might even cover again at 10 o'clock at night. So as a max, you would think a stallion will cover between three and four mares a day, every day for the entire breeding season, which runs from February the 15th through till the end of June, officially July the 15th, but most flat stallions don't go on much, much beyond the middle of June. We start breeding from fillies when they retire from racing, normally at three or four years old, and they will continue in the breeding program until they're about 20 and are retired. We have stallions retiring to stud at the end of their classic season, at the end of their three-year-old season or four-year-old season, 
uh, and then they will also have a, a, a stud career that can span into their 20s. The cost of breeding a racehorse depends entirely on the quality of the stallion and the quality of the racehorse that you're breeding from. So, for example, Roaring Lion, when he retired to stud here, having been world champion three-year-old, retired for a fee of £40,000 per covering and covered about 150 mares. So the maths are pretty, pretty compelling. But then the best stallion standing in the UK at the moment stands for a quarter of a million pounds, £250,000 for Dubawi. So you can imagine when a horse like Dubawi is covering in excess of 150 mares a year, those are huge figures. The flat season for the thoroughbred starts at the end of March and the first two-year-old races start roughly then and they run through till the beginning of November. So what we're... We've got some very noisy ones behind me. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to breed foals that are precocious and can start running early. So that's why we try and breed them so that they're born earlier in the year so that they have plenty of time to mature before the ra first races start. The gestation period of a foal is about 11 months and a week. So that's why the stud season starts on February the 15th, so that the foal has to be born in the calendar year. We cannot afford to have a foal born before January the 1st, otherwise it becomes a yearling when it's a day old. So we start covering on February the 15th with a view to hoping that our first foals are born in the first, second week of January. That way they'll be nice and mature when, when they start to run as a two-year-old because they'll have had a full two years before the first races start. So once a foal is born, any time from the 1st of January to the end of May on a stud like Tween Hills, for the first six weeks, they'll probably stay in a stable with their mother, and then they will go out and live in a paddock with other mares and foals until they're about five months old. And at five months old, we will then wean the foal, which means we take the mother away because the foal is mature enough by that point to carry on and develop on its own with its friends. And then our first stage with the foal is that some of them may go to the foal sales at the end of November, beginning of December. And some we'll keep to the yearling sales, which are the following October. And the homebreds that we're not selling, at the end of September, the yearlings will go into training uh, first of all, they'll go and be broken in, uh, then they'll be pre-trained, which means they, give, they get given all the education they need to prepare them to go into a busy trainer's yard before Christmas. So they will be in training for at least four months, five months possibly before they run, and some of them don't mature until much later, because horses, just like people, all develop at different stages and mature. Some are precocious and mature early, and some are slow developers and mature late. So it's a long process and each horse is an individual and has to be treated exactly as such. How long do horses stay at stud? So mares will stay at stud for the rest of their career because that's what they're doing, they're breeding foals at stud. Stallions will stay at stud hopefully for all of their career as long as they remain fertile and popular enough for people to want to use them as stallions. And foals will stay at stud until the end of their yearling year when they will go into training. Mares visiting a stud will come to be covered by the stallion and be made pregnant. And then once they've been covered and are scanned in foal at about 14 to 35 days, depending on when the breeder wants to take them home, they will return back to the, the farms they've come from. What routine do the horses living at? the stud fellow. Leading up to the breeding season we would start getting stallions ready and fit as well. Um, we would start them off on the walker and also hand walk them to increase their fitness. Um, some stallions do, do need a bit more work and they will um, be lunged to get them fit and healthy um, to start the breeding season. Once the season starts they are, they are working quite hard and can cover up to four mares a day. So they need to be fit to do their job. What age do they have to be to go into racing? How much does it cost to buy a horse and how much does it cost to train them? Racehorses will be educated and broken into a saddle and a rider at around about 18 months old. Some later, some are not much earlier. But the whole point is that we need them riding away before they're two years old so that they understand and are made 
and conditioned to be a racehorse. Horses are like anything else. You can buy cheap ones and you can buy expensive ones. But as a rule of thumb, the average price of a racehorse would probably be about £30,000. Um, but some sales, the average price, because it's at the very top end of the market, might be £200,000. And some much cheaper bargain basement ones where the pedigrees aren't quite so good, the average might be £5,000. So it's as how long is a piece of string? Having a racehorse trained is quite an expensive business. Although, like everything, there's expensive people who do it at the very top of the game and cheap people who are trying to get to the top of the game, or good value people who are trying to get to the top of the game. But a rule of thumb is it's about £20,000 a year to have a racehorse trained.